Hi Taurus, it is Wednesday today, April 24th, 2024. Happy birthday, you guys. I wanted to come on here and do a special reading for you guys for the year ahead. Alright, and see what is to come. Spirits, what does Taurus need to know for the year ahead? What is to come for Taurus? Alright Taurus, let's look into your tarot cards and see what is to come. Okay, the first card you have is the Queen of Swords. And then you have the Nine of Cups. During this this next year for you guys, um the way you your the way you view your wish fulfillment and which is coming true is going to be completely different than the way that you're viewing them now. I feel like you're going to be cutting some things out that you're wishing for right now because they don't belong here in your life. And so someone could physically be moving here. You have the Six of Swords. But there's things right now in your life that that you're holding on to that I see you letting go of moving away from you have the seven of cups here that's interesting yeah this is your mind like really um looking at different options different choices as you move ahead into the next year and there's definitely an ending all right to things that right now you would consider a wish fulfillment they are they are things that you're you're going to be cutting out of your life And then when you do that, I see things moving ahead really fast. This is a very fast moving energy of the Eight of Wands. Somebody here is definitely moving. You're not going to live in the same place next year. Things are going to be a lot different for you with the death card showing up in the center of your reading. You're actually going to look back and you're... you're not going to even believe how fast things have moved for you. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Five of Swords. See so you standing up for yourself here with the Five of Swords. Spirits, tell me why the Queen of Swords is there. Actually, I'm hearing to grab a different deck. I'm going to grab my other deck here. Let's see what you're doing here, because this Queen of Swords right here is looking at the things that you view as a wish fulfillment right now. Um, cutting these things out of your life, or things that you have viewed as a wish fulfillment before they they don't belong here anymore tell me why the queen of swords is here the tower something's going to cut something's going to happen in this year to come and it's showing up as your very first card so i'm feeling like this could occur like over the next couple months or could have occurred already for some of you guys but there's a tower moment here there's destruction there's things falling apart in your life and this is the universe taking it down it doesn't belong there the top is blowing off 
and then um, after that tower is where I see the nine of cups like what is left over and that's the energy where you're showing up here as the queen of swords like you're looking at it you're re-evaluating everything because there's something here in your life and it's something very significant that is coming to an end very very quickly unexpectedly even the seven of cups is showing up again so this is you looking at what you have left over and um pulling out what no longer serves you okay because there's going to be pieces left over in this mess there's a whole bunch of things in your life that you could have gathered and um now it's like why did i why did i want that this is taking up space this needs to go and then you have the nine of cups tell me why the nine of cups is here you have the eight of pent uh, the eight of pentacles there's something here that you do in work something that you work on taurus where I'm seeing um, that you're going to achieve something great in your work and in your finances that's going to open up a lot of doors for you. You have the Ace of Cups here. Blessings. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. the page of pentacles this is a pentacle there's there's a seed here in your mind um this is a page and this energy surrounding this gift i want to say i don't think that's new love because it's surrounded by pentacles it has something to do with a plan of something here that you're working on you could be a painter you could be a writer um you could be wanting to put work into anything here and i'm seeing a huge opportunity coming out of this you can see like the hand of god coming out of the sky and then you have the six of swords so with this new energy here this ace of cups some some type of new start because you're you're going to be working on something here that's very fulfilling to you you're actually going to make like some type of huge move here which i'm going to look into right now why is the six of swords here so you're moving away from the devil energy there's a place in your life right now where you could feel like i can't get up and move from it not right now um, you're moving away you're going to be able to release this very very easily things that you feel tied to right now where you feel like you cannot walk away from it you're going to be moving away from it you your energy is showing up so powerful here as an empress Taurus that's why you're embodying all of the Queens in the tarot deck and you have two aces there's a new job opportunity or something here that you're going to love that is a huge increase in your finances that's coming in in this next year you're going to feel like a completely different person tell me why the seven of cups is here And this opens up a lot of new doors for you and new choices. That's why the Seven of Cups is showing up next. Two of Swords, the Emperor, and the Hermit. Let's 
see it. I see a lot of new doors opening up for you in this next year. I see you um, making some type of a decision here, Taurus, where you have felt like your options were closed. You felt closed off. It's like you're gaining power. You're gaining control with the Emperor. And this power and control comes in as the energy of the Emperor so and the Hermit. It's coming in as if you are taking control of a situation here again where you could have not been making a decision and um, now you're stepping into your power and knowing your worth. You're a very old soul here, all right? And I see you going through a rebirth, all right? You're another year older. Things are changing. That's why you have death in the center of your reading. The old you is evolving. And things are going to move very, very quickly. You have the Eight of Wands again. And what's coming to an end here is there's a place in your life that you don't feel happy with this place in your life right now. And it could be with the Five of Pentacles, either you feel like you don't have enough money or you feel like you've been left out in the cold or ghosted. You have the Eight of Wands twice, and this is an ending. It's ending, and things are going to start moving ahead very quickly for you because I'm seeing you realizing I don't have time for this, this energy right here. Of feeling a sense of lack. It's not getting me anywhere. Some negative thinking is dying off. Tell me why the Eight of Wands is here. You're going to be really busy, Taurus, this next year. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Four of Swords. The King of Swords. Judgment and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here has a legal matter coming in with a lot of money, all right? Or a new home. Some Something here, some type of a decision being made. But you're going to be receiving messages, all right, about this decision that's being made. And... There's there's an energy here right now around you of feeling like you're in a position where you're unable to move forward. Your mind is telling you, I want to move forward. I don't want to be here. Um, there's something else that you want and that, that your soul, your soul inside of you is calling you in a different direction. And I see you feeling some type of sense of completion here within the next year. Like this this can be a home or something. But there's something here about an opportunity being presented to you um, that turns into from an Ace of Pentacles. From something that has a lot of potential turning into everything you want within this next year and I'm not just telling you guys what you want to hear I'm showing you guys what is happening here look at that ace of pentacles turning into the ten of pentacles so um whatever this energy is that's showing up here in your reading um it, it's going to require you to do some work. It's not just going to fall on your lap. Tell me why the Knight of Pentacles is here. The world. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, definitely. And look at that Knight of Pentacles showing up here again. It's like this horse has stopped. There's something here, this pentacle that you hold in your hand, and you realize it's going to be a lot of work. And I see you in the planning stages here of something, but this horse has stopped. It hasn't started moving ahead yet. <coughs> <coughs> I 
within this next year of your life, I'm seeing you stepping out of a cycle, out of a chapter of your life. This is the end of a chapter and getting on the wheel. All right. And there's a huge, a huge change in your energy here on this wheel. Um, that is going to be very, very successful for you. I want to Someone here is doing something online. There's some very strong online energy or being seen. And it's almost like as if you're thinking about it right here because this horse hasn't moved. But you're looking ahead. That this could be a struggle. Maybe the struggle is this could take time. All right. Or added responsibility. But you're not letting go of it. You're holding that seed of great potential here. Tell me why the Ten of Wands. I just heard. Um, it won't be easy, but it will be worth it. Tell me why the Ten of Wands is here. But this new journey that you're going on, Taurus, in, in this next year to come, um, you're going to look back and see life in a completely different way than you're seeing it right now. You may like to collect a lot of things right now, or there's a lot of things around you. I see you clearing your space. That's like... Uh, um. Taking out, like I said, taking out what doesn't belong here, clutter what doesn't belong here, and having like this open, this open area, a big open area space. Tell me why the Five of Wands is here, Ten of Swords. There's an ending here of conflict, all right, and arguing. And the sun is coming in in this next year. And the sun is going to bring growth into your energy here, Taurus. This is the happiest card in the tarot deck, the sun. You guys really, really have good energy coming in for the next year. Look at this. This is healing, too. There's a healing energy here of... Something that you've been carrying around, some type of weight or responsibility. This could have caused a lot of arguments with someone or other people in your life. And it's painful, but it's coming to an end. And you're, I see you feeling very, very free, happy, and healed. Like this strong healing energy coming in. It's a healing energy from some type of entrapment of the mind with the Eight of Swords. Tell me why the Five of Swords is here. There's, peop there's certain people around you right now, Taurus, that are going to walk away because I see you speaking your mind here with the Five of Swords. I'm so sorry, you guys. Yeah, see, look at... You're speaking your mind here. The Queen of Swords. You're cutting out people that don't belong in your life. You could feel like... Um, even as I split the deck, there's a fight here. Something that you can't win. Um, it's like you can talk and talk and talk to certain people in your life here and it gets you nowhere and you're walking away from it I really like this Taurus because you have um, the ten of pentacles showing up 
right after and very quickly right after there's this feeling of feeling emptiness feeling alone and you have very fast energy with the eight of wands showing up here twice around to this of you moving ahead moving forward very very quickly but it's time for you to get up and start moving during this next year there's something here that you've been praying for that you want and spirits are telling you wake up now is the time now in this year ahead it is the time for you to get up and move forward that it's um an energy here where you're going to be building something that's going to last forever a place where you can live and grow and um It's a place that you're never going to want to leave, in fact. Tell me why the King of Swords is here. Yeah, there's there's definitely in your energy for the year to come. Um, I see you reevaluating seeds that you've planted. I don't know what these seeds are, but it's something in the material world. It's some type of clutter in your energy. You're reevaluating it and deciding that it's just not worth staying here any longer or the upkeep of what you have. It's like you're really cleaning house, clearing out your energy in the year to come. And it looks really, really good for you, Taurus. So I love you guys. Um, this, is, this next year for you is going to be a year of letting go and there's going to be space in your life i'm seeing you finding space and peace in your life and you're you're looking at a tower moment something that you've been trying to hold together and just letting it just letting it fall down fall apart you're even holding up the sword. You're even helping cut it out of your life. I don't know what it is. I don't, I, and the reason I don't know what it is is because I'm seeing here for some of you, this is people. For others of you, this is stuff or some, something that you've built. Tell me about this tower. You have spiritual energy around you. You have the Hierophant. You have an angel here with um, the lovers. I see you choosing here with the lovers. This is a choice. Your spirituality is going to be very important to you in the next coming year. And you have justice here. So your justice in this next coming year is coming into your life making things right the universe is behind you and um this is a five so you're making changes you're making a change from being in a position here where something here about trust or love with these cups has spilled over it's done it's gone and you're turning around and you're going to cross this bridge and get to this castle on the other side. There's a new home or something here about, about a huge financial increase coming in in the next year for you, Taurus. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Take care of you, Taurus. Namaste.